Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Trending Reviews. So you know what this is. This is the Rode Wireless Go. It is the smallest and most compact wireless transmitter and receiver combos. And I'm gonna give you a quick unboxing about what comes in the box with these. And also a little bit of an overview and features about what's actually on these devices. And then hopefully the reason why you're all here is to see what this actually sounds like. So I'll be testing this in various conditions. I'll do it indoors here. I'll change my microphone input from using my Sennheiser shotgun microphone to using this. I'll use the inbuilt mic on my DSLR camera, which is the Sony a7 III. And also give you some samples of how this sounds with the windshield on with an external standard lavalier microphone, a wired one, and also in outdoor conditions when it's very noisy in the background. So I'll try to cover as many scenarios as I can and hopefully that will give you an idea on how powerful these tiny little mics are. So let's just get straight into it. guys so let's go ahead and give this an unboxing so as you can see here from the box straight away it gives you a quick start guide for all the different functionalities of these devices so let's go ahead inside you've got some more instructions there on the uh, bottom part of the card at the top of the box so you just lift the box up and then you have the devices there so just underneath the box you can see they are clipped in there, so you just need to take them out of the clip. Underneath you have one of the uh, windshields, so uh, I'll put that down to the side. So inside here, you'll notice that there's a couple of cables just hidden there on the sides as well. So inside here, you have two USB-C cables to charge each of these devices. So inside the rest of the box, again, it comes with two windshields for both of the devices there. You also have a TRS cable that connects the devices to your DSLR camera. You've got another quick start guide here in case you want to use that. And then finally you have a nice little carry pouch to put these in when you want to take this on the go. So Velcro strap, so very easy to fit both devices and then fit this straight into your pocket. So convenient, let's go ahead and set this up. Okay, so these are the world's smallest wireless mic transmitter and receiver combos and it comes in at 2.4 gigahertz digital frequency. The size, they're 44 by 45 millimeters in size, and as you can see, very compact, just fits very easily into the palm of your hands, and they can clip easily onto your shirts or onto your jeans. They also have a 70 meter range with a massive seven hours of battery life, and they take about two hours to give you a full charge. And both of them have built-in rechargeable batteries which are charged via the USB-C cable that is provided with the box. Right, so let's talk about each of the uh, devices here. So the first one here is the transmitter. As you can see on the uh, top of the device, you have the inbuilt lavalier microphone. You also have a 3.5 millimeter jack mic input port. So if you want to use your own wired standard lavalier mic, then you can also do that. You also have two LED lights here, one for the battery and one for the pairing. Then on the bottom, you have the power button to turn this on. On the side, you have the USB-C port to charge it. And then at the back, you have this clip to clip this onto either your jeans or your camera. With the receiver, you have the uh, USB-C port. You also have a uh, 3.5 millimeter TRS import, so you can connect this to your camera. At the bottom, you have a couple of buttons here. So the one on uh, the left-hand side is the DB button, which I'll explain a little bit more about in a second. And then you have the uh, pairing button there on the right-hand side. On the front of the device, you have a LCD screen, which will actually show you a lot of information from uh, the actual transmitter. So I'll be showing you that as well. And then again, you have the power button there. Likewise with the other one, you also have a clip, so you can also clip this to wherever is convenient. One thing that's really convenient with the Rode Wireless Go is that they come pre-paired. So you wouldn't have to do anything. You'll just get them, turn them on, and you're ready to go straight away. Both of these have very bright LCD screens, which are extremely easy to set up without any menus to go through. So what I will do is I will power the devices on now. So as you can see, the blue light has come on. Now the pairing uh, link here is blinking. So I need to go ahead and turn the other one on. And you should get confirmation that they're paired. So as you can see, the uh, blue light has gone solid on the uh, transmitter and the receiver has picked it up. So on the receiver, you can see I'm speaking and you've got the uh, 
game meter there checking to see the uh, quality in my voice. So if I bring this closer to my mouth, the microphone, you'll see that the uh, volume here on the receiver is actually bringing you a very high gain. There's also some useful information that's displayed on this screen here. On the top left, you have the battery life there. On the top right, you have the battery life of the transmitter. On the bottom right, you can see there's a connection symbol, which is uh, in the shape of a Wi-Fi signal. So in case you have lost connection with the receiver, then you'll be able to display that there. The main thing is the uh, bar in the middle, which is showing you the gain and the uh, decibel counts from the microphone. So this will give you an idea to check how far or how close you need to be to the microphone to give you some really good audio. And the icon there on the bottom left is the uh, decibel gain icon. So when you actually press the uh, decibel button here, you'll see that this will go down to very low. Press it again, it will go to medium and press it again, it will go to very high. Now what that does is it changes the gain settings from very low, which is zero decibels, to medium, which is minus six decibels, to very high, which is minus 12 decibels. This is particularly useful when you're trying to record audio from very noisy background conditions. So if you're outdoors, then obviously you would need to adjust this to make sure you get very clear audio coming in. If you have someone that speaks very quietly, then obviously you need to adjust the decibel and the gain settings using this as well. But Likewise, there's no menus to go through. It's literally three clicks of the uh, button there and you can just change it accordingly. The other thing to mention is that you can also pair up to a maximum of eight transmitters that can be received by the one wireless go receiver. So if you want to pair them, you just hold down the pairing button and then you hit the power button on the receiver to automatically pick it up. And you can do that with a maximum of eight devices. Now in terms of the clip, this will fit onto any cold shoe DSLR camera and is very convenient. So all you have to do is get the clip and put that into the cold shoe, push it in, and there you have it. It goes in very well, it uh, won't fall off, it's very strong, and you can uh, take this with you in uh, any type of recording conditions. And also with the included TRS cable, you literally just put that into the uh, mic input of the uh, receiver, and then connect the other end into the mic input of the camera. There you have it. So now when you start recording using your DSLR camera, this should be able to start recording audio directly from the uh, transmitter and directly link that with the video that you're recording through the camera. Okay, this is sound test one using my Sennheiser shotgun microphone linked with the Mix Pre 3 by Sound Devices. So this is sound test two. I'm using the uh, inbuilt microphone from my Sony a7 III, which is about five foot away from me right now. This is sound test three. I have the Rode Wireless Go now connected to my shirt, which is now connected to my Sony a7 III. And this is on the medium setting, which is minus six decibels. Okay, so this is sound test four. I have a very standard wired lavalier microphone, which I have connected to the uh, transmitter. So I'm now using this to see if the audio is a little bit better than the inbuilt microphone on the Rode Wireless Go. All right guys, so this is a sound test of the Rode Wireless Go in an outdoor conditions. So it is slightly cloudy and it's a little bit windy. So I just wanted to give you guys an idea of actually how it sounds with the wind coming through. Does it affect the audio? Now I will be switching over to using the wind protection to see if there's any difference. All right guys, so now I have the wind protection on the Rode Wireless Go. So can you guys tell the difference? And let me know in the comments below if it does make a difference as well. All right, guys, so now I have the wired lavalier mic, the small one here, and uh, giving you guys a test comparison of seeing how that sounds in comparison to the previous two sound tests. All right, guys, so this is a sound test outdoor in a loud environment. So we've got the uh, Wimbledon showing on the TV screens back there. We've got a lot of people here. We have some markets. We have a tractor cleaning the floors and the pavements behind us as well. So I just wanted to give you guys uh, a look at how it sounds in very loud environments outdoors. So if you are gonna be filming where there's a lot of people, maybe some crowds or festivals, then obviously it will come out um, just like this. So I'm using the Rode Wireless Go just on its own. So what I'm gonna do next is switch over to the windshield to see if that helps drown out a little bit of the background noise as well. So hopefully uh, uh, you guys can get a bit of a comparison, but I won't be using any of the um, lavalier wired microphones on this test because this is mainly just for the Rode Wireless Go. So uh, let's switch over and see how that sounds. All right guys, so now I've got the windshield protector onto the Rode Wireless Go. I just wanted to give you a comparison with if this makes any difference in background noisy situations. So again, I've got lots of families here. 
I've got a lot of people talking, I've got the market here. Um, there's some police sirens on the background. There's some noise going there with a, with a fire engine. So let me know what you guys think, if you can actually hear the difference with the windshield protector on or not. So if you are vlogging and you're going to be where there's a lot of people, maybe we're at festivals or anything like that, then hopefully this gives you a good idea of actually what the sound capability is of the Rode Wireless Go, especially with the windshield protector on. All right, so that was all the sound comparison, guys, for the uh, Rode Wireless Go. I hope you found that useful. I'm going to leave a link in the description below on where you can actually purchase these, so do check it out. If you are going to be vlogging and you're going to be using either your DSLR cameras or even if you wanted to use your smartphones, I will be showing a video on actually connecting this to either Android or iPhones as well. So it's the most convenient thing you can do for perfect audio. So do let me know if there's anything else you wanted to find out about this in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you like that. I hope you subscribe and I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.